Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today it's Friday, which means that tomorrow we have the live stream. So don't forget, tomorrow you will be paying attention to Twitter or YouTube notifications. If you touch the bell icon and select it all to get notified when I start a live stream or upload a video. But don't forget to be um, um, looking for any notification of the live stream usually it starts at 3 p.m portuguese time so tomorrow live stream if you want to interact with all the people in the channel and ask me any questions you would like to ask i'll be here tomorrow for the live stream so uh trying to have a slightly smaller video today so let's go to screen share the price to time model shows no change whatsoever since yesterday so we are still delayed compared to the 2017 cycle the yellow candle pattern you guys see here on the chart and the previous week of course we went much lower so we had that 28.8k level which was a new bottom as compared to that week after the capitulation and this week we have been holding the price around the 33,000 dollars and bitcoin is holding the lines around that support level which by the way is looking very very strong because it was uh the price action tried to break it to the downside already a few times and we were always getting back above the 33,000. so let's see the rsi continues to point down we were already going up but because of last week and this week still not being such a big recovery we are pointing down a bit still inside the yellow circle but we will wait for the touch of the orange dashed line which corresponds to the mid cycle 2013 uh, after the 75% correction mid-cycle before going for the new top almost 2014 but uh, this was in December so a few days before the New Year's Eve okay so the price time model shows no big differences from yesterday so let's check the crypto total and the crypto total is of course on the pro indicators framework we have been going down for the support so the start of the new month and the new week of course uh, made the beginning of a new support context gray box which you guys can see here if i really zoom in so there's a big gap between the boxes which means that we are in for a lower support if the price action does not recover so right now we have the trend channel just below the gray box of the previous um in this case month if i'm not mistaken because sometimes i just mess up with the time frame so this is june and that's july so yeah so we are on the weekly chart and of course the weekly chart has the gray boxes correspond to one month so starting from the first of july the support now is around the 1.04 trillion dollars for the crypto market total which means that in case of a bigger correction we are looking for support around this area of 1.05 1.04 trillion dollars so right now we were really good here with the support around the 1.20 1.15 and that's exactly where we found the bottom for this second range boundary which i believe could be the beginning for a third range boundary going up but we still have a long way to go to see that because of you guys know this is the weekly chart so the crypto total looks good so far we have been uh, bouncing back from this 1.14 1 uh, trillion dollars and we are now around 1.36 trillion so looks good so far but we have been facing resistance from the mid channel uh which is the um you know wine color line here in the middle which represents exactly the 50 percent of the context channel and we will face resistance up there as soon as we start to rise again 
So I don't see the crypto total continuing to go down unless some really crazy thing happens or Elon Musk goes completely nuts 1000% because he's already 200% for sure. So if he goes nuts 1000% and he starts to tweet that Bitcoin is crap, probably we will see uh, some kind of move to the downside. But I hope the guy is not that crazy. It's just 200 and that's already enough. So let's see what happens. So the crypto total is like that. The new context support is around 1.05 trillion. And I hope we don't need to find support there because we could have achieved already a second range boundary on the crypto total. So that's it for the crypto total. Uh, there is no indication uh, whatsoever on the pro momentum except for the fact that we have been oversold for a long time already, a lot of days. And uh, of course, the pro momentum is indicating that it's going up now. So we have a kind of a reversal here in this area. Since the 27th of June, we have been going up and I hope it remains that way. So let's see the weekly chart on the MRI for Bitcoin. And as I was wanting to happen, we closed the previous week with a hammer. However, the hammer is red. So that is not 100% good as I expected. I would much rather prefer to have a close around the 36,800 or even 37 and have this hammer being a green candle. That would be much good, a uh, much nicer indication that we could have a bullish uh, move here. However, after the new week started, uh, we have been going down a bit already, but the 50 period SMA is now going up and I'm sure this will uh, give us really good support as we've been, we have been already having some really good support to not go below the 33,000, but the 50 period SMA, the yellow line is coming up and I bet it will meet the price action soon, probably next week or even two weeks from now. And I hope that will definitely change the price action uh, momentum to the upside. So for the weekly, that's it. We have the RSI just going sideways, continuously going sideways. However, we have another light red can, uh, bar on the MACD. So the MACD continues to be bearish, blue line below the orange line, but the bars are now, sh are now showing the gap to decrease in size and the color is light red. So this is already a bit of a shift in the MACD indication that we could be facing a reversal after all these bare weeks we had here and have been already many or uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven weeks already of bearishness on the weekly of the MACD. So I hope this will give us a bit of a change uh, on the um, momentum reversing to be a bull momentum for now. OK, so that's the uh, analysis for the weekly chart. Let me just take a look on the daily and then there's something I want to show you guys on the four hour two. So the daily is showing something which I like and we have here higher lows. So we have here the 28.8 bottom. Then we have a higher low here and then we are having right now a new higher low. So this is a good indication on the daily that something at least is holding the price after these really uh, mean attempts to break the support. But now we have been finding support around the 33,000. And even the VPVR, you guys can see here that all this time that we have been trying to uh, find support around the 33, it has increased this area around here where you guys can see that there is a spike on this area here, which means that we have been having a lot of buys here to support the price from going below 33,000. OK, so that's the daily and the daily looks good. We have now a doji, a green doji forming. So let's see how the day closes this candle. But the next thing I want to show you guys is the bullish divergence we still have on the daily. And this is important. We have been having this trend line going down. The overall price action you see here has been going down for the last few days. 
but however the RSI is going up and this trend line here on the RSI this white trend line shows you guys that we are going up and this overall price action shows us that we have been going down this is a bullish divergence which is really really important to uh, have an idea of a possible price reversal to the upside contrary to this trend that we have been feeling so far so that's the daily for you guys the macd just going sideways however the blue line is above the orange which also shows what the rsi was already showing that we have been having a really slight movement to the bull area but we need to see that confirmation on price action and if we close this day as a green doji and we have a continuation tomorrow of another green candle that could show us also some confirmation of the bull side winning this fight for the $33,000 area okay so that's the daily let me just quickly go to the four hour and I'll just delete these higher lows um, sorry for that oh okay i forgot to change the tool so this is the tool i need just to delete that we don't need those higher lows now but you guys can see it here we had the 28.8 which immediately reversed to the upside in a fury and made a green hammer then we had a retest of that low but we didn't go there so we have a higher low around here and then we went back up again and then we have another retest of the uh the previous swing low which was here and we didn't go there either and we are now going up so what i just wanted to show you guys is that we are this is in fact just something i was trying to imagine because i started to see a rounded shape bottom around here which could indicate that if we have a small handle after this completes we could be now preparing for something or some kind of move to the upside so let's see what happens but i'm not expecting this uh, cup shape uh, trend line here the white trend line in form of a cup uh, in the shape of a cup to be broken to the downside if this happens then it will be a very very bad sign also the rsi as you guys see here has been going up and down just zigzagging above the trend line which shows the bullish divergence and the macd also is decreasing the gap between the blue line and the orange line let me zoom in so you guys can see it so you guys can see that the gap is now smaller and the bars are all light red except for this one here but they are decreasing the so the bars are decreasing in size and increasing the gap between the previous one and the current one and now this is showing at least for the short term on the four hour chart are showing that the bulls are starting to be in control and probably we will see a rounded shape bottom here and continuation to retest the previous swing high so if that happens it will be a very very good sign i was discussing this today on telegram with the people that um usually debate all day there about their ideas and trading ideas and so i will just take the opportunity to say guys and let me put it on the screen so you don't get a mistake just don't forget to join our telegram group it's now written on the screen t.me forward slash f you money if you write that on the browser you'll open a page where you have a button where you will be invited to the group or you can just use the search uh, box on the app itself and search for fu money the first or second result will be the group where we are all day discussing our ideas so don't forget guys i will leave it on the screen for a bit more uh, time just join the telegram group if you want to debate with us and i of course i'm there uh, many times during the day of course not the 24 hours of the day but i will be there uh, many times and of course we'll answer your questions and try to help you the best way i can so telegram group don't forget okay the four hours so let's see the bitmax funding rate is negative which is a good thing for the bull case you guys know already that i use this indication uh, this indicator as an inverse uh sentiment uh indication of the market so whenever the bitmax funding rate is going to the negative side which means much more shorts than longs 
In fact, what usually happens in the spot market is the opposite of that, and the market usually goes up. So many longs, the market goes up. Many, sh uh, sorry, many shorts, the market goes up, uh, and many longs, the market usually goes down. So I use this as an inverse correlation of market sentiment. So now we have the negative rate on the BitMEX funding rate. We are actually very, very close, just a bit below my threshold, which is the green line here at 0.06. And the premium is also negative. So I guess a lot of people are shorting this, this uh, candle now, but the candle is really trying to break the 50 period SMA, which is the yellow line over there. So we already had one attempt to break this and I bet we will try to break it again. Or the second scenario is we could retrace again back to this um, cup shape trend line here and probably have a reversal to the upside again on the next candle. But I would much like to be wrong on my cup shape trend line down here and have this candle continue to the upside and break the moving averages because I'm not looking to have um, I'm not looking to be right in my cup shape trend line here. I'm looking to have Bitcoin go to the upside and finally leave this bottom that I probably think we have achieved. So uh, for me, it would be much better if the cup is wrong, but, but you, we start now a big move to the upside. That would be great in my opinion. And for many of you, I'm sure. So that's it for the four hours. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I will I will finish the video for today. I don't want this video to be a very long one. So guys, if you have any questions, please leave them uh, below on the comment section or um, just join the Telegram group and you can ask them directly to the people there or even me. If I'm there, of course, I will help you. So let me just stop screen share. Again, I will make the announcement i will just put it on the screen and the telegram group for the fu money channel is open for a few weeks already we have 300 plus members in just two weeks if i'm not mistaken so don't forget join the telegram group and we will help you win every question you have also tomorrow don't forget tomorrow the live stream will be around 3 p.m portuguese time or if something really crazy happens or I'm not available immediately at 3 p.m. We will do it around 5 p.m. But usually it's 3 p.m. now, a bit earlier than before. So look for the notifications on YouTube or Twitter or in the Telegram group. Of course, I will post it as soon as I know the exact time that the live stream will start. So last words, of course, if you enjoyed this content for today, just gently touch the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or even if you are not new, but you are just looking for the uh, random videos on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends. And now the wise words of Sarge Esterhaus. All right, let's roll. <laughs> hey, let's be careful out there. And that's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I will see you tomorrow on the live stream. Bye bye.